Amazing. So if you're a parent of a gamer, odds are you've told your kid to get off the game once, twice, or maybe a half dozen times. But you might change your tone after seeing this next story. Ahmad Hicks explains why in tonight's Sports Plus Spotlight segment. Kids. Wait, I have 98. I have 98, dude. I have 98. Yeah. You may not want to drop those controllers just yet. Can I get a distraction for tired? Your future could be in your hands. Esports in general is, is such a welcoming community. Welcoming enough to show it in its numbers. Students' response to the esports initiatives uh, around the place have been overwhelmingly popular. I was really excited. The sport has multiplied by the seasons, making it nearly impossible to play solo. The atmosphere is just exhilarating. Francis Howe Central and CBC High School have become another hot spot for young gamers. We went from 20 the first year to about 80 the second year. It's not all fun and games though. Esports has given students the opportunity to play competitively, challenging their minds and taking them to the next level. You can make the game so strategic and it's about the teamwork that you have to put into succeed because it's not all about one player. It's not about how good you are. It's how good you are as a team. For senior Tyler Bellina, eSports provides kids who don't play traditional sports a chance to compete as a unit with the same goal as other teams, win state, which is what Francis Howe Central did in a popular video game called Overwatch. Being able to say that I, I we won the state championship was kind of an honor and a pleasure to really be able to say and kind of, kind of being uh, above some of the sports players a little bit, just as that like, ha, funny, that uh, we actually won the state championship. Was Coach DJ, the director of esports at CBC, says winning titles is just the beginning phase of a league with so many gaming levels. There's so many programs offer scholarships, and it ranges down from like, you know, $1,000, $2,000 over at the club level where, hey, we're just trying to test the water, see how really viable this is, all the way up to full rides where hey, we're actually competing for national championships. We're competing for world championships. So basically what he's saying is, after all those years of my mom telling me this, Amma, get off the game. I could have just stayed on the game and saved her money. In the last three years of our program, we've had over half a million dollars in offers easily for scholarships for esports. You four then? Francis Howe Central's eSports sponsor at night and guidance counselor by day, Chris Miller, says perhaps the biggest benefit to eSports is the face-to-face -face interaction solo gamers often avoid. Before, you were able to go back and, and then just unplug and just say, okay, that person made me angry. I'm never going to talk to them again. Now they have to come back the next day if they had a conflict and work through those team problems and make sure they're communicating on a different level. Although on two different teams, J. Cole and Ryan Caudillo agree, eSports has given them another outlet to be themselves and to reach new heights. I can be a lot more personable with people. It's taught me to be a leader because I never wanted to lead. I never thought of myself as a leader, but taking the role as captain uh, definitely made me get more experience with leading. Reporting for Sports Plus, I'm Ahmad Hicks.